All right. Uh, last video, I went over the uh, grape or the spell shot skill tree. Uh, this video, I'll be going over the spore warden skill tree. Uh, spore wardens kind of all about their guns and their companions. Uh, they've got some like team boost. They've got team boost, companion boost, and then they've got like uh, kind of like speed and distance are kind of the theme here. Now for the class feat, got a mushroom companion. Uh, mushroom companion or fate maker is company accompanied by a mushroom companion that targets near my enemies dealing poison damage uh, Poison damage is the replacement for corrosive uh, Pinging an enemy will cause your mushroom companion to lunge towards them Any increases to the fate makers damage also apply to their companions uh, We've seen this line of text on the wyvern companion from the clawbringer and the demon lich companion from the uh, grave warrants so just all the fate makers damage was applied to their companions uh, it's a general thing that applies for uh, all the characters. Action skills. Barrage. Fate Maker summons an ethereal bow, firing seven arrows that deal ability damage on impact. Arrows, shows, arrows ricochet twice between nearby enemies. Barrage has multiple charges and increases to gun damage applied to the damage dealt by Barrage. So, uh, because this is an action skill, I'm going to assume it receives the ability damage boost. Uh, however, that could be changed... Uh, uh, ability damage may be different than action skill damage in this game, but I'm fairly certain it's the same thing. But gun damage boost applying to your barrage is pretty significant. Uh, it also makes me wonder if it receives things like Oath of Fire from the Clawbringer, says your guns do bonus fire damage. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, ricocheting twice, seven arrows that ricochet twice, they can all ricochet to different enemies, which gives you just a lot of uh, multi-target damage with this action skill, so I hope it does a good amount of damage. Now for the other action skill, Blizzard. The Fate Maker creates three Frost Cyclones for a duration that seek out enemy nearby enemies dealing Frost ability damage over time. So, being that these are Cryo damage, or Frost damage, and they seek out enemies, uh, I wonder if this has any synergy with the uh, Berserker, and if it does, if there is there enough synergy in the skill tree to make it this worth being in your second class uh we'll find out i guess tier one bounty of the hunt five points uh kill skill action skill cooldown rate is increased for a brief duration kindred heart companion health is increased companion damage is increased eagle eye gun damage is increased gun handling is increased so these are all just five point skills that give you just general boost Action skill cooldown rate is good. Uh, the skill, the action skills on the Spore Warden seem powerful. And this is also a tier 1 skill. So when you multi-class, you can get this pretty easily. Because uh, from what I've seen, you get your first skill point at level 2. And uh, like every Borderlands game, it takes 26 points to get your capstone. Uh, so max level being 40 in this game. So, level 27, you get your capstone, so you have only 13 points to go into a second class, assuming you get your capstone in the first class. Uh, but 13 points, uh, this is right at tier 1, uh, you have enough points to max the skill out, so uh, regardless of what class you're doing, uh, you can just get action skill cooldown rate on kill for any character. Uh, uh, so, cooldown rate, very powerful. Kindred Heart, if you're doing companion things, uh, this is just a good boost to have. Um, applies to all companions, not just the mushrooms. You have the wyvern or the demi lich on your character. Uh, this is a good skill to have. And then gun damage. Just a good thing to have. And that's gun damage, gun handling. Gun handling is how much recoil. So uh, more gun handling means less recoil. And that gun damage applies to your barrage action skill. Tier 2, affinity. Ability damage is increased. So any skill that does ability damage, and we've seen a lot of those so far in the other skill trees, uh, this just this does a lot of damage. Or it gives a damage boost to those skills that deal ability damage. And uh, I believe he's the only character that just, or I believe the Spore Warden is the only class that just gets ability damage as a skill. And that's uh, it's because ability damage is a powerful boost to have. Because it doesn't just apply to your action skills. It applies to things like the uh, lightning and fire orbs that uh, Blastomut's favor. 
from the Clawbringer gives you. Yeah. And uh, so it's just, and it also applies to most action skills in the game. So uh, it's just, and having this on a tier two, like I said, with the bounty of the hunt, makes us a very powerful, or makes us very easy to get skill. Being at tier two, uh, you can have this five out of five at max level and still have your capstone from the other skill tree. Spore Cloud, one point skill. Your mushroom companion will occasionally let one rip, taunting enemies and leaving a poison cloud that deals damage over time. So, regardless how much damage this does, which, if you're doing a companion build, it's probably a good skill to have, but regardless how much damage this does, it taunts enemies. And we saw with Flak in Borderlands 3, taunting enemies is a great way to survive. Having your pet draw all the aggro means you don't have to put much effort into healing because enemies just aren't attacking you. So this is probably a good skill to have. You don't have to do anything. Like you don't have to gamma burst. You don't have to go into fade away like you did with Flak. This just happens on its own uh, every so often. It's just uh, good aggro relief regardless of what character you're playing. And uh, the poison cloud might do good damage as well. Uh, who knows? Yeah, taunting enemies, having your companion taunt enemies is very powerful. Uh, bullseye. Gun critical hit chance is increased. Companion critical hit chance is increased. Uh, good. Again, just a generally good boost to have. And even better if you're doing companions. Quiver of Holding. Magazine size is increased. Fate Maker's equipped weapon regenerates ammo over time. So, mag size and... Uh, weapon regen. Just, this is uh, it's nice to have. It's a nice quality of life thing to have, and magazine size is a pretty good boost. Uh, I don't know if this regenerates directly into the magazine like Moe's did, or if this regenerates just into your extra ammo like Salvador did. Uh, it, the wording's kind of not very specific, so we'll have to see. But um, mag size and ammo regen. I wonder if this works with rocket launchers. If the, I wonder if rocket launchers are in the game at all, actually. And if they are, does this work with rocket launchers? So if it does, that could be very powerful. Like, because rocket launchers they do lots of damage, but they are uh, kept in balance by their lack of ammo. But if you can regen ammo with this, it's pretty busted. Medicinal mushroom, one point. While the fate maker is in save your soul, their companion will attempt to revive you. If it does, you and your companion gain increased damage dealt for a duration. Uh, this is almost exactly like uh, Lick the Wounds from Flak. Uh, your pet can revive you, and if the pet did revive you, it gained increased damage. This gives both of you increased damage, though, which is slightly better than Lick the Wounds. Uh, and Lick the Wounds is just skill you grabbed on any build, no matter what. Uh, this will probably be the same thing. If you're down this far on the tree, just put one point to this. Have your pet revive you. Uh, Windrunner, three point skill, kill skill, increased movement speed, and fire rate. Uh, just good general boost to have. Uh, this effect can stack also, so we're not sure how many stacks it can get, but uh, stacking movement speed, stacking fire rate, it's pretty good. Uh, thrill of the and we'll see some skills in the Stable Master skill tree that benefit quite a bit from movement speed. Tier five, thrill of the hunt, or I'm sorry, tier four, thrill of the hunt, three points. Gun critical hits grant increased companion damage for a duration. This effect can stack up to 10 times. Uh, so again, if companions are a viable build, this skill is probably one of the best skills to have on a companion build. Uh, just, I don't know how much damage it gives you, but 10 stacks uh, is probably going to give you quite a bit of damage. Even if it's 2% per point, getting 10 stacks is 60% gun damage at uh, 3 points. So like that's that's a lot of damage. Uh, even at one point, just 30% companion damage is, or even at 1% per point, that's 30% companion damage at max stacks. And it's every crit, so if you're landing crits, you're just going to stack this up. Uh, if companion builds are viable, this skill is why. Uh, it's like, it just, anything, e even as low as 1%, the damage boost from this is a lot of damage. But, uh, cold shot. Three, another three points. While aiming down sights, Fate Maker gains an ever increasing amount of gun damage and damage reduction. So good with like snipers and stuff, and I guess just aiming in general. If you're uh, like, yeah, if you're just aiming, you gain 
more gun damage, more damage reduction, similar to the kill confirmed skill that Zero had in Borderlands 2. Uh, that skill, while ADSing you gain increased critical hit damage, but it's just gun damage. You don't even need to score a crit to get the benefit from this. And also damage reduction. So, you can focus on one enemy while reducing the damage you take from other enemies. Um, good skill to have. Gun damage is always nice. And again, this gun damage, gun damage boost increase your uh, action skill, the barrage. Uh, so if you can aim down sights with the barrage skill, I think this ability is, or this skill is going to be pretty powerful with the barrage. Tier 5, Wrath of Nature, 3 points. Whenever the Fate Maker deals ability damage to an enemy, the affected enemy takes increased damage from all sources for a duration. Uh, it's three point skills. This just applies a debuff whenever you hit them with ability damage. So any action skill will trigger this. Um, we saw skills in the Berserker tree and the Clawbringer tree that do ability damage. Um, so like Blasphemous Favor, which I said already, and the Frost Novas from the Berserker. Those are both ability damage, if I recall correctly. Um... The fact that enemy takes so those can uh, just spread debuffs and like Sublasmut's favor from the Clawbringer killing an enemy with a gun spawns a fire orb that would home an enemy out and hit that enemy. So whenever an enemy gets hit by a fire orb, they get this debuff. That's that's a good piece of synergy uh, across classes, but also barrage and the frost cyclones are very good at hitting multiple enemies, because it's three Cyclones that seek out enemies and hit them. Uh, the Barrage are seven arrows that all ricochet twice, so that's uh, it's, spreads this debuff all over the battlefield. Uh, it's a lot of bonus damage for you, your teammates, and your companions. Headhunter. Gun damage dealt to critical hit areas is increased. So enemies, so while there is a chance to randomly crit, you also, enemies still have crit spots, um, and hitting that crit spot with this skill just does more damage. Now, for whatever reason, the way this is worded, uh, this is not a critical hit damage boost. This is when you hit a critical hit, that shot gets increased gun damage, not increased critical hit damage. I'm not sure why it's worded like that, but that's how it is, um... Something notable that will affect the damage formula, but uh, still a good skill. Just headshots do more damage. Uh, play the angles. The Fate Maker's gun critical hits have a chance to ricochet, dealing reduced ability damage to a nearby enemy. Ricocheted shots have a small chance to ricochet an additional time. So, uh, this deals ability damage, okay? And we saw with uh, Thrill of the Hunt, not, I'm sorry, Wrath of Nature, ability damage debuffs enemies. And uh, Chain, re not Chain Reaction, Indiscriminate on Amara did action skill damage, which is similar to ability damage. That skill was completely broken. It was a source of almost all of Amara's damage. Uh, and this is that, but it can ricochet twice. And this is critical hits. Um, you have a chance to randomly crit, and one of the Stablemancer's action skills, which we will talk about in the next video, uh, makes all your weapons guaranteed crits, uh, so this is ricochet shots everywhere. Ricochet shots have a small chance to ricochet an additional time. We've seen it with Boar, Chain Reaction, Nth Degree, and Borderlands 2, um, Indiscriminate, and, like, Ties of the Bind on Amara. Ricochets in the Borderlands franchise as a whole have been very powerful effects. They just they do so much damage. And this being a capstone makes me think it's just gonna be completely busted. Um I could be totally wrong, but based off of other games and the other skill trees, this skill seems absurdly powerful. Um that said, the Spore Warden in general, just with all of the good boost it has, seems like a genuinely good pick for a second class. It, it doesn't do anything like specific with these like early skills, 
but they're all just good boosts to have on pretty much all characters. Action skill cooldown rate is good on all characters. Uh, gun damage, good on all characters. Ability damage is good on all characters. Uh, this taunting enemies uh, is just good aggro relief for... Um, it's not necessarily that good on like the melee characters, Berserker, Clawbringer. Um, but if you do any gun build on the Clawbringer, probably good. But for things like the uh, Stabomancer, which we'll get to, and the uh, Graveborn and Spell Shot, this War Cloud effect seems pretty strong. Gun crit chance is good. Um, mag size, ammo regen, that's just generally good. Uh, medicinal mushroom is that that's an insane effect to have on all characters. Although a couple of characters we've seen already have effects that happen when they die, which might just make the skill irrelevant. But uh still good thing to have. Wind runner. Fire rate and movement speed on a kill skill is good. Uh that's not particularly great, but uh called shots generally just more damage is good. Wrath of Nature is good on all characters. Headhunter is good on all characters. Play to the angles. It's it's good on all characters. So, uh, I think he's the... Or, the Spore Warden is like the only class that has this many skills that are just generally good on all characters. Um, at first, I wasn't particularly excited about this class. It just... It didn't seem too strong compared to the others. But now, reading through the skills... Um, he seems kind of underrated, not underrated, but uh, he seems secretly very strong, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, like, the abilities aren't flashy. So Most of these abilities aren't, like, flashy and big like a lot of the other abilities, but they are strong effects. And once we see the numbers on these, they might be even stronger than I think. But anyway, that's Spore Warden. Uh, game comes out, I'll be streaming a live playthrough on Twitch. I'll have the link to that in the description. Um, but next video I'll be talking about the sport or the Stabilomancer. Uh, see ya.